welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well so today we're going to be doing another 90s inspired look it seems like you guys really enjoyed the last one when i did the amon inspired look but today we're going to be doing a look inspired by none other than the queen naomi campbell so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that we get notified anytime that i make a new upload so let's go ahead and jump right into this look as you guys know i always like to do hair first and then I go ahead and do makeup afterward um so yeah we're gonna be recreating the bob that she wore I'm gonna be kind of like you know doing a little my take on it so it won't look exactly like Naomi's of course but you know gotta like make it me as well because Naomi has like the bone structure of a goddess and I do not so you know I gotta play around with the style a little bit <laughs> so that I look cute too while I'm wearing this hairstyle um but yeah so the hair that I'm gonna be wearing is gonna be from RPG hair wig and thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video let me tell you guys I've been like super into bob wigs right now I'm real into them they're just so so easy and effortless and I'm just like obsessed with this particular one because I love literally did absolutely nothing, nothing to this wig. It came pre-plucked, pre-bleached, like the knots were perfect, the cut is stunning, the like, ooh, the lace was lace, was, well, it was not lacing because it literally blends into the skin like nothing so it was it's literally like a perfect wig I literally just took it out of the box and felt compelled to just put it on my head because it was that perfect like mm, it's it's a really really stunning wig this wig is literally perfect I can never say enough good things about RPG hair wigs because they literally come through with like the most flawless wigs every single time so yes this is the unit that we're gonna be installing today it already came like with the cut and everything like that and um it definitely inspired me to kind of like go ahead and recreate this look especially after i went on pinterest and saw you know like this photograph of naomi and everything so yes um as always i'm gonna be uh installing this wig using like my favorite lace adhesive from Ebon. It's the Extreme Hold Lace Adhesive, comes in the black can. It's my favorite. I use it for every single install. It's just, it works for me. So, you know, I'm a creature of habit. When I find something that I like, it's real hard for me to stray away. So this has been working for me. So I've just been kind of, kind of going with it. And uh, once I have that lace on, as you guys can see, it's literally like blending into the skin like magic. It's just, whew, the lace on this wig is literally flawless. It is HD lace. So um, I kind of anticipated that, like that it was gonna look really good when I installed it. I don't know it just look especially good so I was very happy <laughs> once I have the wig on I'll go ahead and add my little um, headband just to make sure it like melts into the skin that much better and then we'll get into styling so like I mentioned before in this photograph that I'm re recreating of Naomi Campbell uh, she has like this bob haircut and a center part so we're gonna be doing the same style um, I don't have Naomi Campbell's fantastic bone structure um, so yeah I'm gonna have to play around with it just to kind of make it make it so like the style kind of works for my face shape I pulled a few pieces to the front to kind of like frame the face and everything like that but um, yeah cuz I don't, I don't got sis's bone structure like that you know I gotta I gotta work styles like these I just went ahead and did like a cute little center part I used my pink spritz to kind of make sure that the center part is super flat and everything like that and um went over it with my hot comb just to make sure everything is like there's no flyaways I did go run through the wig using my flat iron um and I just kind of like bumped the ends there but that's pretty much all I did for like styling like this hair came like pretty perfect out the box so I really didn't have to do much as far as like getting this this wig together you know pretty much just straightened it added some baby hairs and you know called it a day <laughs> Thank you. 
once I have like the hair flat ironed and everything, I just went ahead and added like the edges. So I went in with my razor comb and just trimmed some hairs up at the front there and styled the edges using some got to be ultra glued hair gel. I definitely kept like the edges nice and soft though because in the photograph, Naomi doesn't have any like, you know, edges or like baby hairs happening, swoops and stuff. So even though I wanted to do like some swoops and some edges, just because she didn't have it in the photograph, I just tried to keep it as like soft as I possibly could just to kind of keep it kind of close to the photograph, you know. It doesn't have to be exact, of course, you know, when I do like inspired looks, like I like to kind of like, you know, add like your little touches of myself here and there. But um, yeah, so, but I'll try to make it like subtle. So it's not like, you know, too far away from like the photograph. Um, but yeah, so I just did like a cute little soft edge, nothing too crazy. So this is the hair. She's looking real cute. At this point, I was kind of like, you know, I need some like little pieces to kind of like frame the face and stuff. Like, I don't know. I've always feel like center parts don't look good on me. I don't know what it is, but I just prefer a side part. Center parts, I just feel very like, ah, I feel weird. <laughs> Um, I pulled some pieces to the front to kind of like frame my face a little bit and that made me feel 10 times better. I'm, I really don't know what it is about center parts, but I just like, I always feel weird when I'm wearing them and I think that's the reason why I just prefer like a side part. Perhaps it's like my face shape or something. I'm not really sure, but I just feel like I just look better with a side part. Next thing I'll do is just add some concealer to my part there just to make sure it's like, you know, everything looks good with the part. I didn't use like the bald cap method or anything. So you could still kind of see like that gap between like my wig cap and like my um, actual like hairline. So the concealer there is just gonna help kind of make sure everything blends together really well. And then finally, I just added some BioSilk hair serum to the hair just to kind of make sure it looks nice and shiny. And that'll be it for the hair. Super cute, super simple. I love this wig. I'm definitely gonna be reusing it again. Like this is like one of those wigs that just goes in like your everyday hair like arsenal you know <laughs> it's such a good one so yeah definitely make sure to check out this wig down below in the description box if you guys have any questions i'm also going to put a direct link to it down below in the description box as well and shout out again to rpg hair wig for sponsoring today's video and sending over this flawless lace unit so now that we are all done with the hair let's go ahead and jump into the makeup look okay so this is the look that we're going to be recreating for the makeup i really tried my hardest to find the artist that did her makeup for this um particular event that she went to but i couldn't find anybody i wouldn't be surprised if it's kevin aquan because he used to do like from naomi's makeup a lot but i also know that naomi like knew how to do her own makeup as well so there's very possible that she could have done it herself i'm not really sure so but this is the look that we're doing it's very like dramatic and smoky i love like the touch of purple in the eyes anyways let's go ahead and jump right in i already went ahead and added my serum and my moisturizer the serum that i used for my skin today is from topicals it's their faded brightening serum i have been like loving this stuff guys it's been helping me so much with like my dark spots anytime i break out instantly i get a dark spot like there's just like no avoiding it i get a dark spot almost every single time that i break out i don't know that's just the way that my skin works <laughs> but the serum from topicals has definitely been helping me out with that and i've just been loving it so much and then for moisturizer i use the strength training moisturizer from ula henriksen for the under eyes yeah i use this little hack that i've been really loving because I have super dry under eyes. I've just been using just a tiny bit of Vaseline just to make sure everything stays like super moisturized and the skin is protected underneath all of like the makeup and everything like that. I've tried a ton of different eye creams and it seems like this is the only thing that seems to keep my under eyes moisturized for long periods of time. So yeah. I used that for my under eyes. And then I went in with my sunscreen. Shout out to my friend. She gave me this sunscreen from Super Goop. I think that's what the brand is called, but it's so amazing. Like, ah, uh, because it's clear. It's a clear sunscreen. It goes onto the skin really smoothly and doesn't disturb your makeup if you're like me and you like to wear, you know, foundation and powders and such. It still looks flawless underneath your makeup and doesn't disturb anything. So now that we've got all of our skincare covered, I'm gonna start 
prepping the skin for foundation. I'm using this mattifying primer from Milk Makeup and I'm just gonna pat that along like the T-zone area as well as just kind of all of the areas that typically get oily for me. Next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of setting powder from Huda Beauty. This is like a trick that I've been kind of like incorporating into my makeup looks, especially when I wanna do like, when I know I'm gonna be wearing a look for a quite a long time. So I'll go in with like a translucent powder. This one's the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder from Huda Beauty and just pat it along the areas that I typically get like the most oily. So the forehead and the nose. I'm then gonna go in with my foundation. Um, I'm gonna do like a little bit of correcting where those dark spots are first with a little bit of concealer. So I use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer and just did like a tad a bit of that on that dark spot there on the cheek. The foundation that I'm using today is from Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 8.75. Such a good foundation. It just makes the skin look absolutely flawless. So don't be surprised if you guys see me, you know, using this foundation a lot over the next couple of videos. You know, she's been a, she's been a fave right now. So next thing I'll do is start adding my concealer. I'm going to be layering two different ones today. Um, I'm using the Benefit Brightening Concealer and I don't remember the shade of this one, but I think it's medium dark if I'm not mistaken. But um, I'm gonna just use this to kind of like slightly color correct as well as, you know, just add a little bit of brightness and coverage to the under eyes before I go in with like my actual concealer. And that one will be from Charlotte Tilbury. Next thing I'll do after concealer is go in with my cream blush. Oh, I wanted to use this in my last video and I totally forgot. And I remembered this time and I'm so happy that I did because I literally love this blush so much. It's from Danessa Myricks. It's the newer cream blush that she recently launched and it is absolutely gorgeous, this color. Oh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, when I was looking at the photographs of Naomi, I couldn't really tell if she went with more of like a orangey, like terracotta colored blush or if some, she went with something more like plummy and pink. So I just kind of like took this particular step into like my own hands and decided to go with this like more terracotta orangey type of color for blush. Um, also too, because I thought it would kind of go better with like the eyes and like the lips since those ones are, those particular components of the makeup look are a little bit more on like the purpley, like pink side, having like a orangey type of blush, I thought kind of like balanced the look and gave it like a little bit of, you know, yeah, balance. <laughs> so um, this blush though from Danessa is stunning. I highly recommend you guys check this one out. Um, I'm gonna over powder my under eyes afterward <laughs> using some Huda Beauty <laughs> setting powder. I accidentally went in with way too much, but yeah, you definitely wanna just go in with like a little bit on your first round of like setting um, with powder for the under eyes and like concealer and stuff. Just a little bit of powder the first time and then we'll go in with like a little bit more during the bake. I'm also gonna use a little bit of powder to set the rest of the face. I just went in with something a little bit more translucent because I didn't wanna add um, any more coverage to the skin. So I used the Chanel Natural Finish Loose Setting Powder and then I'll go in with bronzer. I'm using one from Kaleidos Makeup. This is their bronzing and contouring palette and um, I just use like the bronzing shade to warm up the face. So I added that on to the cheeks, the forehead, and a little on the nose. As soon as I'm done with like my bronzer, I always like to go in with my bake. I'm gonna use my little triangle powder puff and go in with my uh, Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder from Huda again, this time in shade Banana Bread, and use that to snatch the nose. And uh, yeah, you know, get that that under eye looking nice and bright. Ooh, I also add a little bit on to like the contours of the cheek there just to kind of clean up the cheeks because I felt like I went like real wild with my brush, you know, with the bronzer. So this is just gonna like snatch everything up, make sure that the cheeks look nice and clean and that there's like not bronzer just like all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. 
I kind of stuck with like my typical brow shape. I feel like my brows aren't like in a position to do like a fluffier type of brow like she had. So I just went with like my, <laughs> um, like my typical just like brow shape. So um, I've been really enjoying like a really sculpted brow. Um, so I used my KVD brow pomade in shade Walnut and just a little angled brush to sculpt the brow out and add like some faux brow hairs towards the front of the brow. And I also use a little bit of brow gel from Melt Cosmetics. And I love this brow gel because it has like, a little comb instead of a brush. So you can really like comb this through the brow hairs and make sure that the brow hairs are like perfectly in place so they don't go anywhere. It's such a good brow gel. If you're looking for a new one, definitely check this one out. So next thing that I want to do is dust off this bake on the cheeks and then we're going to, what are we going to do next? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Oh, eye look. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so now uh, I went ahead and did one eye off camera just to save time um, because I can get real into like the eyes and spend like a little bit of time sitting there perfecting everything. So I just like to do one eye off camera and then do the other one on camera because I kind of know how to like a approach the eye look after doing, you know, the one eye first. So yeah, first thing I want to do is go in with my darkest um, eyeshadow color and I'm using this dark plummy color from this new eyeshadow palette that I recently got from Huda Beauty. Um, this is the matte uh, palette and it has like a bunch of like these really beautiful like purpley toned uh, plum colors. So I thought this palette would be perfect for this particular eye look since that's kind of like those are like the colors that Naomi was wearing. Um, so yeah, I used that color first to just kind of start adding some like depth to the eye look and everything like that. Usually whenever I do like a, um, a smoky eye, I like to go from like darkest to lightest with like my colors. Um, so yeah, I'll go in with that color first and then I blended it out using a kind of like more purpley, like plum toned shade from the Enchanted palette from ColourPop. And I used a slightly fluffier brush just to make sure that the edges of, you know, this um, darker shadow were like blended out really, really well. You really want to take your time like blending out these colors so that way the look comes together like, you know, nice and diffused and all of your shades are, you know, really well blended into, you know, each other. And then for the lid space, I use this really cute lavender shade and just kind of pack that onto the lid using a flat shader brush. And then for the inner corner, I use an even softer like lavender type of color and just place that and just pack that onto the inner corner as well just to keep that space nice and bright since all of the other colors like in the crease and on the lid are a little bit on the darker side it'll kind of make sure that the eyes stay like nice and open in that space one of my favorite things about 90s looks is the use of a black eyeliner i love the fact that coal eyeliner was like a thing back then because it just makes like i feel like a perfectly smudged black eyeliner just like makes every look Look super sultry so I definitely love 90s looks for that aspect when it comes to like the eye looks and stuff um so yeah I definitely wanted to add like a little bit of cool eyeliner this one's also from Huda Beauty it's a new one it was sent along with the, the um, matte eyeshadow palette that I used for this look I just placed it onto the waterline as well as the lash line and went in with a really small brush to do like a little bit of smoking out and blending in on the edges there and then finally to finish up this look I'll I'll go in with some mascara and um, some lashes. The mascara that I use is from Maybelline. This is the Sky High Mascara. And once I have those on, I'll just kind of pop my lashes. My lashes on with my little lash applicator. And I finish up this eye look by cleaning up the outer edge with my powder puff and just a little bit of extra setting powder. I just kind of like use the edge of my powder puff to kind of create like a line right where my inner my outer corner starts and extend it outward you don't have to let the powder sit there or anything like that i just dusted it away right after but doing that kind of like cleans up the eye look and you know gives it like that nice like winged 
cat eye effect. So that'll be pretty much it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. I went ahead and dusted off the rest of the bake on the under eyes and the nose and everything and started adding my little nose highlight. I use this really cute rare beauty highlighter. I've been loving this one. It's like the perfect like a warm gold. So I applied that onto the bridge and the tip of the nose. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra color to the cheeks with the Artist Couture Love Sprung Face Palette. It has these super cute peachy colors. I just use a lighter of the two on the apples of the cheeks just to bring like a little bit of extra color there. And then finally for the lips, I am definitely going to be doing a darker liner like Naomi. I'm gonna start off with a warm toned brown. This is actually a lip liner from Wet n Wild. I just randomly found this lip liner at Walgreens and uh, I just thought the color was super cute. I was like, oh, it's only three bucks. Let me go ahead and give it a try. I was looking for like a warm tones like lip liner for like my lip, my nude lip combos. And this one just kind of like seems like it would be a good idea. So um, it's a cute little lip liner. It's not like my favorite lip liner that I've ever used, but it worked for, you know, the look that I was trying to go for. Um, and then for my darkest lip liner, because you guys know I like to layer them, I use the um, Shape Coin Collector from One Size Beauty. The lipsticks that I'm using are from e.l.f. These are their new satin lipsticks and I layered two of them. But yeah, I think like the two together just kind of created like that perfect like berry color that we're going for. And then of course I had to finish this look with a little bit of gloss. This one's from Soap and Glory. It's a really cute like rosy type of tone. So I thought it would go perfectly with this lip. But that's it for the look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this Naomi Campbell inspired look. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the look down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love doing like these 90s looks. So I might even make this like a series. Uh, like the 90s is like my favorite when it comes to like makeup. Everyone was just like their makeup was just so on point. But yeah, anyways, sending lots of love to everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.